Hi guys and welcome back to Jurassic Collectibles. Quite a lot of you have been asking me to review this item and uh, I'm happy to say it's just arrived. It's Jurassic Park on 3D Blu-ray and this is the version that comes with the Blu-ray, DVD and digital copy. Now there's a little bit of information that I have to share with you guys. Here in the UK we did not get um, a cinematic release of Jurassic Park 3D on April the 5th despite that being the worldwide release date. In fact, we won't get it in the cinemas till August the 30th, which I think is appalling. So I went ahead and basically pre-ordered this um, Blu-ray, and um, it's actually arrived before the film has even been released in the UK. So I'm able to watch this on my home entertainment system months before it will even come out in the cinema. Uh, this to me seems insane, and I wish they'd just done a cinematic release when everyone else had got it. I mean, I, I don't know. Maybe it's expensive to do that. But it just seemed absolutely crazy that we didn't get a cinematic release along with the rest of the world. Having said that, I'm really glad this is out. Here's the, uh, the packaging on the cover. As you can see, it's got this lovely embossed cover. You can see it in the light there. And this is actually like a foil cover as well. So as I turn, you can kind of... You might be able to see that it's like a glittery foil cover. Really nice cover art. Um, I really like this. And as you can see here, it says an all new bonus 3D feature. Um, and that's um, the world of Jurassic Park 3D. It's a short featurette. Um, it's only a few minutes. But the entire thing is in 3D. Um, so I'll talk more about that in just a minute. On the other side... We've got a nice foil backing. It says here, high def 3D picture, high def 7.1 sound. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Three disc combo pack. Um, you've got all the features there. Um, and also includes the ultraviolet version. Out of the sleeve, you've got the same cover artwork again with the Blu-ray 3D box. And then on the back, You've got the same information again, but we've just got no uh, Brachiosaurus. So let's put these side by side. You can see we've got no Brachiosaurus included in this uh, cover art. Inside you've got your ultraviolet sleeve with all the details on the back, plus three discs. So you've got the Jurassic Park 3D Blu-ray here. Not an amazing design, very simple. Jurassic Park 3D. Then on the back you've got the standard Jurassic Park Blu-ray and then you've got the Jurassic Park DVD. On to my thoughts about the Blu-ray 3D. Honestly, it was fantastic. Um, there was nothing distracting about the film. All of the shots were expected to be punched in the face. I was. And uh, I watched this on an LG 42-inch uh, 3D TV. And for a home entertainment system, it was absolutely amazing. I have no complaints about the 3D transfer at all. So if you are a Jurassic Park fan and you're dubious about the 3D effect, don't be. It really is worth a watch. And I said to my girlfriend, I will not be watching this again in 2D um, with this copy. Um, I mean, it, it's so immersive. It really is. Now, um, something important to note is that they've cleaned up the Blu-ray... Um, again for this 3D transfer. So actually we've got a new version of the film. Um, if you have the standard Blu-ray and you're thinking well all they've changed is that it's now 3D, that's not the case. They've actually done a new version of the film again um, and I actually put the Blu-ray that comes with this set in after watching the Blu-ray 3D to compare and um, the standard Blu-ray is really grainy and dirty compared to this Blu-ray 3D transfer. So they've cleaned it up again. Um, other things they've changed include the titles, which used to swim around a little bit at the beginning. You'll notice when you watch the Jurassic Park logo, it used to move around a little bit and have a little bit of wobble. They've completely redone the opening titles and the end titles and stabilized them. So actually that's, that's new titles at the beginning and the end. They look exactly the same but they've stabilized them so they're not the same. I think they've done them again digitally. Also, at the beginning, we no longer have the old um, 1990s Universal logo. They've replaced that with the 3D logo. And 
uh, one of the important things that was um, mentioned on the bonus feature, the 3D bonus feature, is that they had to augment certain shots to improve the 3D feeling. So, for example, on the main road attack with the T-Rex, they actually added droplets of rain in the foreground so that you got a sense of um, depth, that things were in the foreground and then you've got the T-Rex in the background and then they could fog out the rain in the background. So they actually added droplets of rain to those shots. Um, so I'm not sure what else. They might have added some more atmosphere. I don't know. Um, but it seemed to me that on the Blu-ray, they've not just... Um, uh, they've not just added depth to the existing droplets of rain, they also added foreground droplets of rain. Um, and that's something that's discussed on that extra feature, the all-new 3D bonus feature. So we, we've got a new version of Jurassic Park, essentially. Um, and I think if you watch this version, you will see what I mean. The clarity is completely different. Now, when they create a 3D version of the film, essentially what they do is they trace all of the objects in every shot, assign them a certain depth, and then create the left and right eyes from that. Okay, So they're essentially creating a new version of the film, because neither eye is a true version of the film. And then what they do is they have to fill in all the gaps where they've um, moved the image for the left and right eyes, so they have to go in and fix that. So if you were to turn off the 3D feature and look at the screen, you'll see that there's artifacts towards the sides of the screen and also around foreground and background objects. You can see where they've had to fill in these little gaps digitally. Um, when you're watching the film, you don't even notice these things. Um, but it's important to note that this is essentially um, a new version of Jurassic Park. It's a new film. Um, and it's not the same as the Blu-ray or DVD copies that are available already. Two shots that stick out in my mind from the film. Um, there's one where Nedry drives up to the gate and um, he's uh, turning off the lock on the gate so he can batter his way through. For some reason that shot, the depth really worked and it looked like a really nice shot. I remember saying to my girlfriend, wow, that looks cool. And then also near the end um, when... Uh, Ellie says on the um, on the radio, Hammond, I think we're back in business, and the raptor bursts through. That was quite good as well in terms of depth. Um, also, the bit near the end where um, Lex uh, falls through from the ceiling and then the raptor jumps up to bite her, that is really, uh, that really like punches you in the face. So, yeah, definitely worth checking out if you're a big fan of Jurassic Park. If you've got a cinematic release, um, don't waste that opportunity to go and see the film. Um, it really is uh, worth a watch. Okay, guys, rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.